Hey y'all. So I am still a little bit under the weather. I'm very congested, so ignore my voice right now. But I did want to hop on here real quick because Ding Dong Biden's gone. And apparently in more ways than one. So Biden broke up with us via text message saying that he was dropping out of the campaign race and he is just going to strictly focus his attention on is the rest of his presidency however there was no actual video or him saying this so many of us are wondering does he even know that he dropped out of the race or is this a decision that was made by his handlers um to drop him out of the race after they seen the horrible display of leadership on that debate stage Um, with Trump and they realized that it's no way in hell that he would defeat him debating like that so he came out said he had COVID and that he was going to step down but we knew that this was going to happen we knew that he was going to either step down willingly or they were going to force him to step down I had even said that Biden better watch his back because if he does not go willingly he was either going to come down with something or they was either going to take him out and that and that's not completely ruled out yet because no one has seen biden other than like what two days ago where we seen him get out the car and get on the um the plane air force one but then many people are speculating that that was like a stunt double and that wasn't really Biden. He didn't speak to us. He didn't wave to us. He didn't say anything to us. He was just, I mean, he, well, he did wave. He did like one of those little thumbs up things. And then he briskly, which was really the dead giveaway that that probably wasn't Biden, briskly went up them um, steps and boarded uh, Air Force One. So it comes out that uh, Biden said that he is going to address the nation from the Oval Office today. Um, We did hear his voice um, over a recording, as Kamala almost slipped and said, over a recording um, that sounded absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing like Biden whatsoever. Um, But many people are saying, well, you know, when you're sick, you don't really sound like yourself. And I guess they have a point because I'm sounding like a whole man right now. So I guess when you're sick, you know, it does alter your voice. But that didn't even sound like how Biden talked, period, much less just the the octave it just didn't even sound like him at all um so they it was a recording that kamala um that they played during kamala's speech or whatever as she addressed the nation because apparently kamala is now campaigning which is so bizarre because like who put her as the nominee for the democratic party like honestly i don't feel sorry for democrats a lot of the time but this is one of them times where it's like dang they didn't even allow y'all to choose who y'all wanted to represent y'all it was just basically i endorse kamala harris embrace her and now this is y'all nominee even black lives matter the organization came out saying we deserve to be able to pick who we want to represent us And I mean, I, whoever thought that I would be, you know, uh, agreeing with the organization, but I agree, like, how are y'all just going to automatically nominate her and the people don't get to decide, but y'all want to talk about democracy anyway, it's, it's always a problem when we do it, but it's okay when they do it. But anyway, so, um, Kamala has hit the campaign trail and she's hitting that thing hard. She done raised over 81 million. They, they, they gonna 81 us to death, y'all. $81 million, 81 million votes. They gonna 81 us to death. Like we, like we stupid or something, but she raised all this money. Um, they're pretty much throwing all of their money behind Kamala saying that she'll be the one that can take Trump down. Um, and so she is hitting the campaign trail, y'all. I can already hear her so excited i am the first black american south asian indian a little bit jamaican on my daddy's side female president (laughs) oh my god y'all anyway so yes kamala is in full campaign mode um and that's scary and frightening. I mean, let's take a trip down memory lane and go through why Kamala is not a good representative for this country and why we don't support her on this ticket. After Kamala had voiced to her team that she feels that her hands are tied on what she can do politically, 
and is having a hard time finding her role, she finally is being given the task she's been waiting for, being president. Well, at least for 85 minutes. While Joe was under anesthesia and getting his anal cavity videotaped, Kamala was working in the West Wing running the show. But it turns out she may have been working alone. After Kamala's embarrassing approval rating went public, people have been stepping down, quitting, and distancing themselves from that sinking ship. Peter Vales, head of press operations, Ashley Eaton, communications director, Vince Evans, director of Office of Public Engagement, and now Simone Saunders, Kamala's press secretary. After reports of dysfunction and frustration about her role in the administration, she is the latest of her team that have left or will be leaving at the end of the year. Kamala has been placed over numerous tasks and has found a way to further butcher every one of them. She was announced as the border czar, and the border is catastrophic. Do you have any plans to visit the border? I, at some point, you know, I, we are going to the border. We've been to the border. So you, this whole this whole this whole thing about the border, we've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I, I, mean, I don't I don't understand the point that you're making. She was placed over the Space Council and Russia and China are taking turns making us their bitch. She was supposed to bring peace back to France after the submarine deal went left. And she made us look like a joke abroad. We campaign with the plan. Uppercase T, uppercase P, the plan. We're expected to defend the plan. And she was over the COVID vaccine program, and that fell flat. Even with talks of Michelle Obama coming to the rescue to fill in the gaps, people are still not excited about Kamala being on the ticket. 